Hey all, this is <clears throat> Hey family, this is Darlene with jurybybdk.com. Today I am going to be making some of my chunky uh, bracelets. And I will go ahead and get started. I'm going to use a one millimeter stretchy cord. And I generally just kind of take it around my wrist. and kind of measure it like so. Give it a little extra. I will cut the cord. And I'm going to use, I'm gonna do three uh, different bracelets to create stack bracelets. And to do that, I'm going to start with the black matte beads. Actually, I'm going to start with the uh, turquoise piece because I want to make this. Uh, I'm going to start with the turquoise piece because I want it to be the center piece, the focal point. And then I'm going to go ahead and put in, of course, washers. Yeah, you heard me. Washers and a hex note uh, and a hex nut. And I'm going to do the same on this side. A washer and a hex nut. And this will be our focal point. And then I will surround those pieces with the black matte beads. I'm going to do three on this side. We'll do three on this side. And there is nothing like stack bracelets, especially when they're nice and chunky. They go well with uh, dresses or, and I like long dresses. So there's something about having on a long dress with that kind of drags the ground, mind you. Uh, a pretty blouse and you got your hair pent up and your wrists, your arm is just full of uh, chunky br bracelets and you may have on a pretty pair of dangle earrings. That's the beginning of it so far. And I still have braces that I've made with the uh, stretchy cord. I've had those braces for, uh, oh my God, for years. I want to say at least six or seven years bracelets that I made. And I, I wear my bracelets all the time. I just happen to like that uh, chunky stack look. So this gives you an idea of what the bracelet is going to look like so far. And then we'll put a couple more black beads, or black mat. Okay, and we'll see what this is looking like so far. How cool is that? And just visualize that stacked with a couple more bracelets. I'm going to put, let's see, maybe one more that might, yeah, that's, we'll do that one. And I'm going to finish it with another hex nut. And I want to make sure this is not, that's kind of a, kind of loose. So I'll take one of the beads off and then I will tie because my knot will go under the hex nut. So that'll hide very well. And I normally tie double, double wrap wrap. 
make sure you stretch it really well. One, and then I do double, double. And you wanna pull it snug, snugly. And then I'll do one. And I can tie it as many times as I want because no matter how, how big the knot is, it's going to hide under the nut, right? So I'll double it one more time just for the sake of uh, security. So we'll do, that's double. And then I like to wrap it under and then bring it back around. And then tie. And then one last double. And then I'm gonna go ahead and clip. About yay. And then I'll pull that right up under the hex nut. And that's one of our bracelets. And I'm going to do two more so we can create a stack. So this will be one. And then I have a piece of wire already cut, so I'll go ahead and use this one. Um, and I think I'm gonna go ahead and use Okay, so with the second bracelet, Okay, for the second bracelet, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to use, we'll start with this V, and we're going to surround it again with the hex nuts. And then that'll be the start. And then we'll use some of our the black mat. part off right here because it's not as straight as I would like it to be. So we'll just go ahead and beat it and you can get the idea already of what it looks like. And go ahead and use another black bead. Yeah, 
that's cool already. And I think what I'm going to do is we'll add these beads just to give it a little more flair. And the cool thing is, even though they're uh, stacked, they can be worn individually. But there is nothing like an arm full of uh, stacked uh, bracelets. You can already get an idea about what that's gonna look like. So we'll go ahead. cool is that already? You can kind of imagine what that's going to look like. Um, I think I'm going to try some of these uh, beads too, but in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and put this uh, coconut spacer. And then I'm going to try a couple of these. And then I'm going to go ahead and finish it with a another hex nut. These are some pretty beads. Okay, so let's see how that's looking. How cool is that? And that's about perfect as far as size. I'm gonna stretch. Mm, and then I'm thinking I might want to, if I put the once I put the nugget, I'm going to try it. I'm going to take two of these beads off because remember, I'm going to close it up with a hex nut. So I'm going to try one of these. Let's see how it fits on my wrist. Oh yeah, that's, that's cool. So we'll do this and we'll wrap once and then wrap twice one two you want to kind of pull it snugly and i'm going to wrap once snug one two snug and i like to take it under so you cross it and then you pull it up and then snug, so we'll do one, and then one, two, nice and snug. And no matter again how much, how big the knot is, it hide the, the no matter how big the knot is, the hex nut hides it. So we will clip uh, right about here and this is bracelet number two we're going to do for stacking so 
So that gives you an idea of how they look. How nice. So that's two. And then I want to do one more that sits on top. So three stack. I use about this much uh, this much cord. And the focal point for this one will be a torque horse bead. Uh, pretty much almost like our initial bracelet. But with this one, I'm going to we'll add our washers so we can have a flat surface for the bead to lay against. That's the reason why I'll put the washers or I'll use spacers that are flat right next to any bead that has um you know a kind of awkward shape so if i was to put another bead on here it wouldn't lay flat like i would want it to lay flat so i'll, I'll put the the washers on this one and then what i want to do is i'm gonna go ahead and use some of these these brown these brown beads some of those and we'll kind of mix this one up a little bit give it a little more uh, a little more okay and then I will begin to use my black matte beads And I'm trying to decide if I want to do videos with uh, talking or if I want to do the videos with, uh, you know, me just making the jewelry and having, you know, low music playing or because sometimes <clears throat> because sometimes it feels like I'm talking too much. So or like I'm not talking enough. I'm going to use another bead and we'll put that here and because we're using the hex nuts we're going to put one here and we're going to put one here because remember the three bracelets are almost like a set they're stacking together so we'll put black beads See how that looks. I like that. Very different, very unique. Let's do I'll add a couple more of the brown wood beads. find a hole. <laughs> and we know it's a hole in the bead. Is this it? I'll use this one in.
Okay. Ooh, not bad at all. I like that. And then, of course, we will finish it with a hex nut. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in. And you want to always make sure that whatever... <clears throat> you always want to make sure that the bead you finish with has a big enough opening where you can hide the knot. So we'll do this one time. I do two. Kind of pull on a snug. We'll do one. And we'll do two. One, two. Kind of pull it snugly. We'll do one. And then I want to take it under the bottom, cross it, and then pull it back up. And then one. Two, one, one, and then two. And then there you go. And of course you want to cut the wire. I'm, I'm sorry. You want to cut the cord. Go yay. And it tucks nicely right under there. So you have a stack. Uh, we'll put this one on first. And put that one on second. And then that one on third. And that is our stack bracelets. How beautiful, right? have it it's just that easy and remember I like uh, I like kind of matching beads with other beads and I try to make habit to only purchase beads that have designs on them which is not always easy um, and of course you have to buy some beads that are just solid colors because there are times when you just need solid colors to go well with a piece. So in this instance, we have um, three bracelets that are meant to be stack bracelets with the black mat, the turquoise, some wood beads, uh, glass beads, black mat beads. And um, yeah, these would go great. Jeans, t-shirt, jeans with a beautiful blouse, um, even your hair hanging or curly or pent up in a nice little uh, messy hairstyle. And of course, uh, no earrings, because I think when you wear um, chunky and a lot of uh, bracelets stacked, or you may even have on a necklace that could be something, you know, like such, you really don't need earrings that becomes too much not unless you're going to like some really formal type event where you you know you want to wear your stack bracelets you want to wear your earrings um and if you you want to wear your stack bracelets you want to put your necklace on you want to wear it as a set and in that case if you want to put on a pair of earrings you can but in that instance you want to wear your hair down because the hair hides most of the the earring and every once in a while you know a person may be able to get a glimpse of the earring but you never want to put on too much jewelry at one time it tends to look like too much so with these they're they're chunky there's a lot going on they're busy but everything blends well together so that that's the type of thing you want to do you you don't never want to do too much but you always want to do just enough. And I don't care if you have on a pair of flip-flops, a pair of flip-flops and a pair of shorts. If you want to wear a beautiful necklace with an arm full of uh, bracelets that are stacked and you can put that together well, by all means, I say do it. 
And it's all about being comfortable and being free in the way that you dress and how you feel. You know, and I think what happens to feel good and think that we look good, the objective is a lot of makeup or uh, a lot of nails. And you don't really need all that. If you want to put on makeup, put on just a little bit of makeup and then let your accessories be the highlight, right? So just a dab of makeup and that's, I think what it is, we want to be as beautiful as we can possibly be. So the thing is eyeliner, rouge, lipstick, a face full of foundation and all of those goodies, but a lot of times that's not even necessary. You could just look, you can make yourself look absolutely fabulous in the right type of jewelry with very light makeup and again, there is something about when you can pin your hair up and it has that messy kind of look to it and you just run it free with some lip gloss on and a little bit of concealer and just kind of moving around in the world, making things happen, looking just as lovely as you want to be. But anyway, that's my rant for today. Uh, Darlene for jurybybdk.com. And remember, go be creative. Thanks for stopping by.